we're starting a week in which we celebrate food and wine. It's about food, but you know, it's, uh, it's not about confrontation. It's really about a discussion, opening a debate on the ingredients, the true product, and uh, it unfolds in several activities, cooking classes, master classes. We have uh, a Michelin star chef, Silvia Baracchi. We have a master baker from Italy. His panettone is outstanding. And everything is crowned by this incredible speech by Oscar Farinetti. Tonight was the, uh, the rollout for Sant'Italia week. It's a, it's a celebration with our culinary partner, Centennial College, and their hospitality division. And what we're doing is we're just showcasing different foods from around Italy. You have to remember that the color isn't important for the extra virgin olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil isn't a wine, but it's important smell. It's important taste in your mouth. For extra virgin olive oil, it is very mild, very fruity, very uh, spice, lightly spice. And uh, I prefer something, of course, olive oil and uh, tomato, and then uh, with a little bit of finocchiona and basil. In terms of wine production, Italy, France, and Spain, they're almost about equal. Italy is always featuring, definitely in the top 10, top three. It's very important to have an event like this because uh, it's make connection for the people. We can uh, share a lot of ideas, we can share fine food, a lot of food, and different point of view. And, uh, but the favorite part is teaching at the, at the, at the students because it's uh, very nice to bring the Italian touch around the world and teach them and show them different things in a different way. If uh, some of you want to open one restaurant, one project have two parts, the analysis and the building of product. It's very important that in every part of your life, you decide to work. The future of food leadership is ultimately about the sustainability of sourcing products and ingredients, as well as the sustainability of treating people fairly. And that's what it's all about at Centennial College School of Hospitality, Tourism and Culinary Arts. So one of our goals here at the school is to ultimately connect our students to food trends and food cultures from around the world. The Italian Chamber of Commerce of Ontario, they said they wanted to bring an authentic Italian food and beverage learning experience to Toronto and have young people who are about to enter the industry be exposed to all things that are authentically Italian. And so we made that commitment a few years ago and thus was born Centitalia. The ICCO is important because it can promote uh, the um, Italy, Italy, every, all the products, and mostly is to put in contact different people with each other. That one is very nice. Also open the minds for many different uh, situations. It's about a lot of different events happening, emphasizing Italian cuisine. And what we're gonna do is it's gonna lead to a culmination on the end of the week with the Pentola d'Oro, and it'll be an awards ceremony honoring Italian heritage in the Canadian community.